It is Black Friday, and welcome to the Encouraging Quarantine Devotion. Um, either you're watching this later in the day because uh, you went out and fought the madness that probably wasn't that mad, because it's really interesting to think about how that's going to go. But uh, at least you are uh, joining us. Um, hopefully you're ready to get your mind right back on track with looking at God's Word and looking for wisdom. Michael and I have been spending some time the last couple of weeks uh, yeah. chasing through James 3, 17 through 18, and uh, talking about these different words of what defines wisdom. Michael, thanks for joining me yet another day. Um, why don't you join me and read James 3, 17 through 18 for us? And then we'll uh, we'll talk about the very last word in this series, although not the yeah. last video in this series. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'll, you know, yesterday was Thanksgiving. I'm just going to express my thanks that we've reached the last word of James 3.17. <laughs> I did not know that we could analyze a verse in this level of detail. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm thankful we're here. We could have right. broken it down more. We, we could, yes. <laughs> yeah, we could have gone into the, uh, the Greek. Uh, so that's... We'll be thankful we didn't do that. <laughs> James 3, 17 and 18. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Um, one, of the, one of the hardest things to grasp in the idea of being depraved or, or having a sin nature Mm. Um, is the idea that even our best intentions tend to be skewed um, because the majority of the things that we decide um, have some sort of benefit to us in some way. And, and we, we mask it in a lot of things. So, so for instance, we were, um, I, I can remember um, recently we were going through a fast food restaurant uh, drive through and they ask if we wanted to round up to the nearest dollar to help a charity. And I said, no. Uh, and the reason that I said no is because I don't trust the fast food restaurant, uh, to handle my charitable, your charitable contribution. <laughs> <laughs> but Jenna, uh, jokingly, she thought that I was a monster uh, for doing this. And she said that I all, she always does it. And um, so, you know, we, we try to hide our good things in things like that. For instance, I always uh, we're moving towards Christmas and a lot of people are buying Christmas gifts. <clears throat> and I always make fun of and it's not so much anymore, but I always make fun of the people that buy uh, gift cards. Uh, and the mm -hmm. reason they buy the gift card is because you get the gas points off. So hidden in our good motivation <laughs> gift is the fact that I'm getting something out of this. Wow. This feels a lot like that. Are you getting that same that, vibe? That no? must be it. That must be a Pennsylvania thing. I did not. <laughs> I've. I've not. That has not not come to Missouri yet. Or I would be buying more gift cards probably. <laughs> but yeah, it's. If the now now we have been known to buy McAllister's gift cards so we could get the extra five dollar bonus card. And you know, I guess that would be the equivalent. Um, I, it's funny you, that you look at it that way. I. You know, and I will probably, after saying this, get far fewer gift cards from people in the future. But I always, you know, kind of contemplated gift cards as that the lack of sincerity because you really just didn't want to put forth the effort to figure out what you could really get the person. Right. Um, but there's a conflict there because people have so much stuff. It's just hard to figure right. out what to get right. a person. Um, you know, the, the sincerity for me is is interesting. And I, I wonder, and I... And it, to, to kind of shift directions a little bit, do we confuse, and this is, I'm going to pose this to you and put you on the spot, do we confuse being passionate, sincere, and authentic? Like, do we confuse those three things? Like, if you're not, and, I, and I'll, I'll give you an example while you ponder your response, um, if you are not passionate, and I mean, and I, and I mean aggressively passionate, like, like, in your face passionate about something someone is not sincere like can you be humble and sincere at the same time i i i i see i see where you could be going <laughs> in the cultural discussion here and i would say that that is a that is a a, a fantastic point because um 
it gets behind that motivation thing. What's yeah. what's the motive behind why we do what we do? Sometimes we do what we do in light of the hot button topic or the the main issue, and we land in a certain place um, because we confuse the loudest person is the most sincere person. Mm, and yeah. I, I don't think that that's the case. I, I, I would disagree with the fact that passion equals sincerity. I think that passion can be in sincerity, but at the same time, I think reservation in emotions also uh, can can still lend itself to sincerity as well. Um, it's really, really hard to it's not really really hard to examine everybody else's sincerity i think that when we're talking about wisdom i think that that for me personally and maybe mm-hmm. you can speak to this i think the hardest piece of sincerity to examine is my own where where can i tear apart what i'm doing and think through what i'm doing and find the hidden motivation that that knocks it off of balance of being wise um yeah. it's easier for me to see that in everybody else than it is in myself yeah. what, what do you think Yeah, no, I I think you're spot on because and it goes again back to where we very first started with this godly wisdom is first pure. You bring this full circle back. You can't measure the purity of somebody else's intentions or wisdom or all of these. And the characteristics we're talking about here can only be assessed in ourself. You know, we can't we can't authentically or, or sincerely assess someone else's motivations or their wisdom that they're giving we can measure the fruits of yeah. the wisdom but yeah. but for ourselves you, you have to measure your own your own wisdom you have it's a self assessment of your own sincerity not someone else's and and that's why back to my and kind of back to my comment and where where I was headed with it you if you look at somebody and you hit it right on this the passionate someone that's the loudest isn't necessarily the most sincere they're just the most emotional, emphatic about it. They right. they can talk everybody else down, uh, but you're again, you're not measuring their sincerity. You're looking at the fruits. You're looking at the the results of the wisdom, uh, not the wisdom itself. And people can have we we know this because we've been there personally. People can have the best of intentions, but it doesn't make it wisdom, you know. Right. And bring it right back down to the level that we were talking about yesterday, the the wisdom that is from above and mm. above, obviously talking about from God, which yeah. brings us to the idea that uh, the these truths in the, the Bible and the way that he does things, the, the leaving the 99 to chase the one, the, uh, the long suffering, the, all of that stuff um, is born out of an idea that it's sincere. So, so God is sincere. So God's move towards us is sincere. There's no, God doesn't need us. There's no hidden motivation. Right. There's no hidden agenda. There's nothing that we have to unpack or that we have to figure out. And a lot of times our mind starts to do that. But wisdom is sincere and God is the of the most, man, what a, what a cool characteristic to think about God. He is the most sincere that there is. Yeah. And and I think you can you, you can at least look at that and reflect on it in respect to he holds nothing back. I mean, if you want to know if somebody's sincere, you look at if they held their cards. You know, people talk about people holding their cards close. You know, are they hedging their bets? Are they are they do they have an out? God went all in. You yeah. know, he sacrificed himself, his son, for us. There is nothing held back in that, so you can't question the sincerity because there's which, nothing which is not a flamboyant passion. No, it is not. Yeah, you. I mean, you're, it's it's an unmistakable passion, but it yeah. wasn't equal to a loud emotion. Yeah, he he did not do it for. He did not do it for the 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 benefit of the applause or or the yeah. recognition yeah. or the accolades or any of that. He it was humility, and so you the sincerity is is a hundred percent. What a cool thought! Hey, yeah. why don't you uh, why don't you finish this out in prayer? Thank you so much for taking the time. Yep. Thank you. Holy Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for uh, everyone listening, Lord. I just pray that, that this discussion and the sincerity of it, Lord, in our hearts would, would come through in this and that and that you would use it to touch lives, Lord, and to speak your truth, Father. Just work in our lives. Help us as we serve you to be sincere and honest in all that we do and faithful in all our ways. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks a lot, Michael. Hope you have a great day. You too.